to be cold. Thank you. So, where, oh, where is 
is this car of ours? Mm, let me check. The app said it should have been here a few minutes ago. Are you sure you typed in the right location? Yeah, 514 Miller Road. Ugh, now it's during 15 minutes. Why don't you cancel it and order another car from a different app? It's only 15 minutes. I bet if you order it from a new app, it'll be here in five minutes, maybe less. Okay. Do you want to try your phone? Sure, I hate these stupid apps, though. They just annoy me. It's because you don't give them a chance? Can we not get into this right now, babe? Now there's no cars in the area. What is going on? Great, so now we're stuck in the middle of nowhere without a ride. What was I supposed to do? Did you already cancel the first one? Yeah, you told me to. I'm sorry, Dave. <sighs> Let me try on my app, see if I get lucky. Maybe you will. <laughs> hey there. Can I help you? I just got an update telling me to pick someone up right here. For us? That's right, sir. Uh, you're not showing up on any of the apps. Well, it's our busiest night, sir. So you can wait for me to pop up on your phone there, but you're in my system. And you have the name Shepard? Shepard, that's the one. I'm not going to get charged extra because your app fucked up, am I? Of course not, sir. All right, babe. Well, I guess we have a ride. I don't know. This is a little weird. Maybe we should wait. Well, we have a car right here. I kind of wanted to walk around a little more. Well, I kind of wanted to go back to the B&B and, you know, Hello, Bray. I got the car all warm and toasty for you. Yeah, she's got the car all warm and toasty. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. God, what's that smell? Sorry about that. Last couple had a little too much of dinner. <laughs> And they puked? It was over an hour ago, sir. I don't smell anything. Seriously, it's, it's disgusting. You'd be surprised at what I've had to throw up in the back seat of that car. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> I don't smell anything. Are you serious? It's freaking rancid. Be polite. Supposed to be a good date. Remember? You're right. Hey. Hey. Wait, you're not recording us on that thing, are you? Oh, yeah, it's just for insurance, you know? Even rich people get reckless when they're drunk. <laughs> I think we're going the wrong way. What's that? The B and B is back south. Oh jeez. Are you kidding me right now? I'm so sorry about that. App must still be on the fritz. <laughs> Y'all staying at the Tulane house? No, we're not staying at the Tulane house. We're staying at the Ponderosa. Oh, that's a beautiful spot. Yeah. Very beautiful and very expensive, and we'd like to make it there. Do you know where it is? Absolutely. All right, that's what I like to hear. Again, I am sorry about that. I mean, 
these versions. My mom, she would have wanted you to have it. I'm sure gonna matter. She's the best. Well, you're the best. <laughs> So, what are your guys' names? Uh, I'm Anna. Nice to officially meet you, Anna. You too. This is Oliver. Hi. <laughs> well, I'm Dawn. Right. Where are you uh, visiting from? Uh, New York, actually. Ah, oh, dang. Couple of hot shots. And what line of work are you in, Oliver? I'm in international sales. Mm. Wow. Any companies that I might have heard of? Yeah, probably all of them. That's big time. It's big money, too. <laughs> well, I'm kind of just a middleman, so. Uh, travel often? That's what I do. Where to next? Indonesia, actually. Indonesia? That's right. <laughs> Indonesia. And what about you, Anna? What do you do? I teach first graders. Wow. That's great to hear. You good with kids? I'd like to think so. <laughs> She's great with everyone. Basically, a fucking saint. Oh, <laughs> hold on there, friend. Um, I'm gonna need you to watch your language. Excuse me? Just a little rule I have. You have a rule about language in your rideshare car. That's right. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Good luck with that. Whatever. Oh, thank God. Yeah, you could just pull over right up there. Cool. No, I'm. Serious, you can please just pull over. <laughs> Whoopsie, sorry, I'll have to turn around again. Did you just miss that on purpose? What? Of course not, Ollie. Why would I do that? It's Oliver. I hate Ollie. That's what I said. Not that I don't enjoy spending time with y'all, but I have a job to do. Hey, uh, you can just pull over right here. We can walk the rest of the way. It's chilly out. I wouldn't want you to have to do that. No, really, it, it's okay. Yeah, it's 100% <laughs> fine. Please, just pull over. Sure thing. What the hell are you doing? Where are you going? Hello? Two. Always have fun. If it ever gets boring, just put on a show. The audience loves tension and drama. Did you not hear what I fucking said? <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> you have a gun. <laughs> Hey, hey, easy. What did I say about the swearing? You need to put that gun down right now. Oh, I do? Yeah. I will not swear, but you need to get this gun out of my face. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, easy now. What are you doing? <laughs> what is this? Do it and I'll blast your pretty face to bits. Do it. Tick tock. Look. I had to think about that for a sec, huh? Oh. Tick tock. I was just... Do it. I dare you. 
No, I was just... Give me your phones. What? I'm not giving you my phone. Do it. What is this? Hmm? What do you think? What do you want from us? What do I want? Hmm. Yeah. It's a reasonable question. You have a gun pointed at us. What do you want? We are good people. Yeah, we don't do... You don't deserve this? We're innocent. What an entitled thing to say. It's not entitled. We're good, innocent it people. It's about you, isn't it, Ollie? It's not about me. I don't... What do you... You think you're some sort of psychologist? <laughs> Innocent. Lesson for you, pal. Nobody's innocent. What do you want from us? Tonight, Oliver and Anna, I want you to prove something to me. Prove what? I won't tie you up, Anna. But I'll tell you what'll happen if you try that again. I'll stab your new fiance's face so bad, you won't even be able to recognize him. You picking up what I'm putting down? What do you really want from us? Is it money? Because I got plenty of money. Hmm. $50,000. A hundred thousand dollars to let us go. All right. A hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Mm. Cash, please. Enough to change your life. Mm. You really value yourself so little. We can pay more. A half a million bucks, okay? Oh, Oliver. I'm over it. Six hundred thousand dollars to let us go. I'm over it. What is it you want? Huh? What are you, you, you really that fucked up in the head? That you, you really want to just want to tie people up and, and torture them? Bob, calm down. No, no, do all this bullshit? Has your life been that, that, that twisted? What the fuck is wrong with you? 
Are you really this screwed up in the head? You just want to kill somebody? Is that it? No, shut up! Stop! Is that it? Calm down. Let us the fuck out of this fucking car! For fuck's sake! Please! I beg you! You done, bro? Oliver, just stop! Fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself! You kiss your mother with that mouth? I mean, Christ, Ollie, show some class for once. Man, you two are so gosh darn cute. And just for the record, my home life as a kid was great. Two parents, a dog, a big house. I was even in the gifted classes when I was six years old. This isn't because I was effed over by the world. This is what I do. It's great. Rule number four, don't be afraid to loosen up. Hey, did you guys catch a baseball game last night? Did I catch the baseball game last night? Are you serious? No, no, I did not catch the goddamn baseball game. <laughs> no way, I would have totally pegged you for a baseball fan. I hate baseball. You hate America's pastime. Are you lying? I'm lying to you. Do you play sports, Tom? Love them all. In fact, I love them so much, I can smell when others do too. What does that even mean? And I can smell something on you, buddy. Please, please slow down. You might be yanking my chain right now. I'm not pulling your chain. I'm not lying. <laughs> Slow the car down. What's that? Please. <laughs> Tell us how much you love baseball. What do you want to fucking hear? I love baseball. I can't hear you. Please. <laughs> last year or I shoot your bride in the frickin' head. I just told you that I do not follow baseball. I don't want to do it. Then why the hell are you doing it? I just want to know who won the World Series last year. I'm personally curious. I told you. I don't know. You said yourself you love the sport. I was just saying that. What the fuck is wrong with you? Three. Uh, it, uh... Two. It was... Just, just slow the goddamn... Tell us the truth, Ollie! I, slow the fucking car down! <laughs> fucking oh, Yankees! Oh. The, the fucking Yankees won the World Series! Did they? I don't know! Fuck! Okay. Did I get this hitchhiker? I'm not gonna repeat myself again. If I hear one more filthy word out of your mouth, you're done. Lesson here is, I want you guys to be honest with me. No, wait, I want us all to be honest with each other. <laughs> so before we get into any more activities this evening, I'm gonna need to set some ground rules. Numero uno, no line, and believe me, I'll know if you are. I interrogated prisoners for the military for six months, so don't try your tricks. <laughs> Just kidding. No, no. That's a good transition to our second rule. Responsiveness. So when I ask you something like, does that make sense? What do you say? Yes. Sure. See? So simple. That's all I need you guys to do. I mean, it's not fun for me if I don't get anything back. And that's all we're doing tonight, having a little bit of fun. Yeah. 
which brings me to my third and final rule. Enthusiasm! <laughs> I'm gonna need you two to lift your spirits. I'm not saying I'm gonna kill you right off the bat for not getting excited about something, but guess what? I will kill you. Does that sound good? <laughs> Here we go. You guys like this song? Oh, yeah. It's good. my favorite. Yeah? Come on, both of you smile. I just want to see some smiles. My first challenge of the night. Secrets! <laughs> I don't care if you're Christ, a lot, or the Tooth Fairy. We've all got them. Sorry, I don't have any secrets for you. Wrong. I'm gonna need you two to divulge the deepest and darkest parts of your history. So come on, spill it. It'll feel good once you do. Sorry. I got nothing. You know, one thing I don't tolerate is weakness. Weakness and apathy. You wanna change your answer, Ollie? As a kid, I, I used to wet my bed. Boring. <laughs> That's all I got. Come on. I want you to dig deep. Real deep. Something that still affects you to this day. All right, fine, what? Uh, all right. One time, I was leaving this party. Drinking, shouldn't have been. And uh, I ran, I ran over this elderly couple just walking innocently in the street. Look back, saw this guy just laying face down pool of blood around him. And I just, just drove off. Pathetic bastard. <laughs> Anna, I'm gonna need you to sit up here with me. What? Whoa, whoa, no, no. I Oliver. Yeah, can you not touch her like that? You're creeping awfully close to breaking the second rule now. <laughs> no more lies. <laughs> I'm gonna need faster responses or else she's gonna suffer. All right. Okay, okay, okay. I witnessed the conditions that my company creates for people. Don't stop now. When I got promoted, he started sending me overseas to inspect the facilities. The conditions there are atrocious. The workers malnourished, broken, depressed, Suicide rates, sky high. They even make them wear diapers. They don't even give them bathroom breaks. And every time I come back and report, 
I say the conditions are humane. Because if I didn't, I'd lose my job. You never told me. I'm sorry. People like you make me sick to my stomach. I have no choice. No wonder you were so secretive about Indonesia. What the fuck is going on with you disco lights? No questions, Ollie. All right. I do believe it's your turn. Please stop. Yeah, can you not touch her like that? Come on, just a little something. Please stop. I can't. You don't want to share? No. Must be something real good. I just... Are you sure? I watched my cousin die when I was six. else to say. No. You've got something else. Tell it. She was three at the time. Keep going, Anna. You can tell me. Just taking a bath. Her mom just stepped out of the bathroom. Her whole body was underwater. I thought she was holding her breath, maybe playing a game. We always played jokes on each other. I didn't realize she hit her head. Maybe it was the music playing. I just got my first stereo. I kept listening to this one song by Pink Floyd. While the music was playing, she was just, just looking at me. She wasn't scared. She wasn't happy. Just looking. One second she was there. And the next, gone. It all happened so fast. And you were watching her the whole time. You're telling me, a grown woman, let a six-year-old watch a three-year-old in the tub? I'm not sure you're telling the truth, Anna. Believe what you want. Oh, I will. Still, it's not that big of a deal, you know. Besides, thousands of three-year-olds die every day. Schoolyards full. But still, pretty good answer. You pass for now. And you can hop on the back now. Good job.
bonus. Don't forget to fuel up. Oh man, looks like we're gonna have to make good stuff, guys. some trouble, mister? What was your first clue, Cagney? PSI, what is it? What is PSI? I was told if I put too much pressure in this thing, it'll explode. If I don't put enough pressure in this thing, I'll keep listing left. I'm tired of listing left. I keep listing left. God damn it. Shit. That's no way to speak in front of a lady. Well, then show me a goddamn lady. You're not a lady. You're no lady. You're fucking Dawn. You're fucking, I love your fucking show. I'm like your number one fan. Take a selfie. Okay, it's a new phone. Here we go. Come, 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 come. Come and see, see, see. Let's see here. All right. Do you mind? I am just all thumbs right now. Do you mind? Okay, I'm ready. What's your password? Well, what would you like to know? I think we're going three now. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. The show. I will. Whoa! Do you remember the Rosie Grunhard show? You killed that bitch. I'll be honored, honored, if you would uh, send me to the next realm like you sent that bitch Rosie Grunhard. I think I could do that. Awesome. Go pee by that bush. Was you watching? I'm not moving. I stop hearing you. I'm coming over for a sneak peek. Oh God. Help! 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 Oh, it's too late. She's gonna kill us all. Who is? No. Rebitch! Crystal. Oh, that's a good shot. What the fuck? Later, Gators. 
Come on, Anna. I changed my mind. sleep we had. Bitch, you evil fucking bitch! God, I'm fucking kill you. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay. Okay. I think it's time you two finally deserve to know the truth. That's my website. Dawn's den. one's my husband. Trust me when I say he had it coming. <laughs> you might recognize those two. Do those two remind you of someone? That stuff comes in handy. Y'all know that the surface internet only accounts for 95% of the activity worldwide? The other 5%. Where most folks no. don't go. No. Or most folks don't want to go. Fuck that shit. Below. Let, let me out of this fucking car. I'm not gonna wind up like this. I'm not gonna wind up like this. Let me out of this fucking car! You sick fuck! Heck, people love my work. I'm in demand as a man. Remember what you asked about the lights, Ollie? Well, it's for the show. <laughs> it's for the show. Look, let me get the fuck out of here! The feedback, the views, the enthusiasm. Might as well call me famous. You're sick. You're not fucking famous. You're sick. <laughs> I'll take that back. You think you could just do this and get away with it? <laughs> let us out! It's hilarious. <laughs> People dying, being tortured. People who deserve it. It's like punchline to a joke, you know? 
What's that? I said you're pathetic. You're just gonna antagonize Let her speak. No. Let us out of the fucking car! Let us out! Anna, say what you have to say. I teach kids like you. Kids like me? I see it all the time. Kids who aren't loved enough at home. They go to school, they lash out at other students, at teachers, it doesn't matter. They push others around because at home, they're hit instead of talked to. You don't do this because you think it's funny that it, it excites you. No. You do this because you're a child who desperately needs attention. And it's sad. You're sad. So go ahead, keep laughing. I see it right through you. And you can kill us if you want. But it doesn't change the fact that deep down inside, you're nothing but a scared little upset or a little I have to remind her that she's still a human. She is not a human being. She is trash. She is scum. She is sick. I have to try. I just want to get her out of this car. I want to get her out of this car. Free car. so high and mighty. A newly engaged school teacher here to save the world. But in this country, you're a sinner until proven saint. And the harm you two have caused, you're far from angels. Well, you're an angel. You're a good person. Answer me. You think yeah. you're a good person? I think it's a real good time for you to explain why your lives are worth living. And I don't want to hear some cop-out answer like, oh, we're good people, because you're not. You're horrible people. I want real reasons why I shouldn't make you disappear forever tonight. You both have nothing. <laughs> I... <laughs> Guess y'all want to die. What's the point in answering? point is to save your life. Please. You knew you were going to kill us the second we got in the car. It didn't even matter who we were. You already made up your mind. What did I tell you about questioning me? She's right, though.
Hand me the knife. What? Look, I didn't want to embarrass you too earlier. And I like the idea of giving you guys hope. My audience loves that kind of stuff, but... Now I'm asking for you to take it out, and I won't ask nicely next time. I respect what you're trying to do, though. And maybe it could have worked. So, Oliver and Anna, you guys were uh, somewhat right, by the way, but not entirely. Anyone could have gotten in this car, sure, but... But the same thing might not have happened necessarily. See, I didn't choose you. You chose yourselves. What the hell's your point? My point is that you're an arrogant a-hole who doesn't know how to treat people right. Look, I just wanted to be friends. It's crazy how rare that is nowadays. Good people. It's like they're going extinct. You could say life's about how much pain you can endure and keep pushing on, right? So let's see how much pain you can handle. That ought to prove something. Let's play with pain for a second. What I'm saying is, burn him, Anna. No, oh. you don't have to do this. What? Nobody is burning anybody. Oh, yes, you are. Come on. No. Come on. Him or you. I don't care where, just pick a place. Fine. Bonus. Always give the illusion of power. You want your contestants to think freedom is moments away. No, Anna, no. Burn me. No. I'm the one that deserves it. I'm not letting you burn yourself. This is ridiculous. I didn't see that coming. Are you sure you're making the right call, Anna? The way I see, you got two choices here. You can either a, you could burn through your own flesh, or B, burn the guy who lied to you about horrific exploitation. Enough with your twisted fucking game. So what's it gonna be, A or B? Anna, you don't have to do this. No. <sighs> Anna. <laughs> ah! Woo! <laughs> Keep going. Enough. <laughs> That's dedication right there. And it. I'll take that. Oh, you're screwed now. You two say one word, and I'll kill this cop. Rule number six, always bring a set of tools and wear a bulletproof vest under your clothes for safety. pulled you over? Had a little lead in my boot, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm gonna need to see your license and registration. It's in the trunk. The trunk? Mind if I step outside? Slowly. Are you okay if I record? I'm a filmmaker of sorts. If you're right, I suppose. I appreciate that. You know, a lot of people get nervous with a camera in their face. I'm used to it. Well, that's because you're handsome. No, it's just because my kids like to play with their phone, too. I bet they're sweet. Yeah, they are. 
I still need to see your license and registration, please. Of course. You really shouldn't keep your papers in the trunk. Don't I know it? What's the matter with the trunk? I busted it last week. You better get that fixed. You handy with cars? I can appreciate a nice looking engine. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe you should come by for a beer and see if you can't fix up this hunk of scrap. Last time I got my hands dirty when I was drinking, I did more damage than good. Yeah, well, as long as you were having fun. I like to approach it that way. Me too. Get real excited. I'm good. Oh, nothing, Chief. Just talking to myself. Oh, I got handcuffs too. <laughs> Just kidding. I think I got a leak in here. Well, it can't be your engine. I know. Well, what is it? Well, I don't know. Maybe you spilled something. Don't move. Drop the gun! Jump it! Jump it! Congratulations, Anna. You're a murderer. right now I'm just beside myself <laughs> that was a good man I liked him it was, it was bullshit no I couldn't be more genuine that guy seemed real solid to me I liked him way more than I like you Ollie it's not your fault what happened to you she made you do that okay it's my fault it's not don't listen to Amanda. You did it. Just like you killed your baby cousin. You have to live with it. Anyway, let's uh, start a new game. I'll make it easy for you. Oliver, tell me the nicest thing you've ever done for anyone. <laughs> no, I don't. You ever give to charity? I'm a good person. I'm not a killer. I'm not a person who kidnaps and tortures strangers off the street. You volunteer? I volunteer. You help the homeless? I did once when I was a kid. Actually, yes. What about you? I want to hear something that you've done for someone else that doesn't benefit you. You do nothing for anyone. God, you two really live by convenience, don't you? What the fuck do you do for anyone, huh? I don't do anything for anyone. So then you're a hypocrite. No. I'm aware of it. 
I revel in it. It's my mantra. My way of being. through life, riding your high horses, eating lavish meals, living as if the universe exists only for you. When in reality, everything you have has been given to you. Everything has been unearned. The earth is dying, Anna. And yet you two just live your life ignoring the suffering of others. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bad person. I live to consume and destroy. Yet you do the same thing in blissful ignorance. So you don't have to feel guilty about buying your next fancy computer, your next burger, your next latte. Supporting modern slavery with invisible whips. That's what you do. You don't know us at all. Oh yeah, you two have love, right? True love, the end all be all. Guess what? Love doesn't exist. It's a survival mechanism made up in our minds so that we can convince ourselves we love someone so that we procreate and continue to procreate until our bodies drop dead. Finding a new mate is a lot harder than screwing the same one on a regular basis. Over time, deeper and deeper and deeper. All you two have is a temporary glue suspending you over a void. So what the heck am I supposed to do in this situation? You're not really in love. You don't do anything for anyone. just like the rest of them. Selfish liars. <sighs> Waste of life. What if we had lied? I told you we were great people. We helped charities, homeless children. <laughs> I would have known. What if, what if you didn't? Funny thing is that when you hold a gun to someone's head, they tell you the truth. And for most people, like you, the truth is awful. Is your Dawn's dead? Ooh. Nice decor. You, you designed this yourself? <laughs> Fucking crazy bitch. All right, y'all. So there's one thing I forgot to mention. <laughs> you know my show?
You have to eliminate a contestant. You have to eliminate a contestant, All right? So one of you has to go. No. 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 You're not gonna make us choose. No. Who's gonna live and who's gonna die? And we're not gonna play this <laughs> fucking game. No, I don't care. Make a choice. Okay. You want me to pick? Pick a number between one and ten. How about eeny, meeny, miny, no, mo? Come on. No. What about rock, paper, scissors? No. Come on. Come on. What? No. No, we can't. Come on. Make a choice. Make a choice. I'm sticking. Come on, make a choice. No. No, we can't. Come on. We can't do this. This is crazy. So what are we going to do? I was hoping to be you. Clever. No. You know, you're the one that got us into this mess to begin with. We can't. We don't have to do this. No. No. Oliver. No. I'm the one that ruined all these lives. I'm this terrible human being who's doing all these terrible things. So if you want someone to die, you're sick. It should be me. Uh. Just fucking do it already, all right? Right here. Go ahead. <laughs> Just shoot me. And get it over with. Because I'm done. I'm done with this shit. Mm. Fucking kill me. Fucking. Don't be a pussy. Mm. Fucking kill me, Don. No, I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> she is. Come on, Anna. No, I can't. Let's go. <sighs> Grab the knife. You're. Fucking crazy. Get it all out. Tell me what you really feel. Come Don't on. make her do this, okay? <laughs> Hold it to his neck now. <laughs> oh, God. You still have a chance. No. Three. <sighs> Two. No. No. <laughs> Any last words? Let's get it over with. Just fucking get it over with. No, I can't. I can't. Now who's laughing, huh? Is this what it's all about? Your twisted little show for your subscribers and viewers <laughs> to get fucking likes. Again with the potty mouth all. Camera's on you. Anna, shoot her. Shoot her right now. Why? Asking me why? Pull the trigger. After what she's put us through tonight? All this hell? She tortured us? She played all these fucking psycho games with us? Do it. She is a terrible human being, and she deserves to die. We'd be doing <clears throat> the world a favor. She's already dead. She deserves to die. Listen to me. Oh, Oliver, we can go. tortured us. We have to kill her. It's the right thing to do, and we'd be doing this world a favor. I thought that's what you said about yourself. I know, I just was saying that. Look, I'm not, I, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about what I did. But look, I am, I am not, I'm a good person. I made, a, I made some mistakes, right? But I provide, 
I contribute to society. Anything in this world, it has a price. There's a price that you have to pay. Do you want to get married on the beach in, in Hawaii or at some cheap church next to a fucking gas station? I provide. I contribute to society. I don't kidnap random people and drag them through hell. You want your revenge? You can have it. Hey, Dylan. Look at me. Look me in the fucking eyes. so mad about, huh? That's funny. What am I mad about? I don't know. Is it you kidnapping us? Making us torture each other? Yeah, I'm a little mad about that. I'm not a religious man. But I really hope that hell is real. And that you burn for eternity. That's what you don't understand, Ollie. This is hell. Thank you so much for watching the show. And I'll see you next time on Dawn's Den. <laughs>